In this video, we're gonna talk about templates, text and email templates. Now there are a few different ways you can go about this, two really to be specific. We're gonna to go to the marketing tab to kick things off. And up here at the top, you'll see emails, templates, and then you'll also see this tab here that says templates. So what's the difference between the two? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna go over right now. Let's start off by going to templates up here at the top. And you'll see here, these are a series of plain text and email templates. Now, most of these, if not all of these are set to text. However, you can add email templates, give it a name, come up with the subject line here, and then come up and craft your email. Start by giving it a name, type in the subject of the email, and now you can start crafting your email here. You can even attach files if you'd like to send you know, PDF attachments or something like that, and then test it out. Who is it sending from? Who is it sending to? Send yourself a test email so that you can see what it looks like coming through. Now, there's really nothing special here. These are just plain text emails. So to show you an example, we're just going to do test, test subject, and then we can start typing. Don't forget, you can also use custom values as you're typing. So we can call out their first name, last name, a lot of information about them, really. Hey, first name. This is a test email. And then you can give it a little footer. Then you can go ahead and type in your signature or just come in here and do user full name. So something as simple like that, right? So the idea here is you can compose an email template as a plain text email. And you can see the little preview over here. But what if you want to send a little bit more professional email, an email that is designed with pictures, images, buttons, colors, and more. Well, you can do that using the email template builder, which is different, yes, than this builder. So these are plain text templates for texts and emails. Plain text, nothing special, but highly useful. We mostly use this for text messages. And if we wanna build custom emails, I actually like to build them right over here in the email templates section. So here we go. We have folders and then we have emails outside of those folders or within those folders, depending on what your clean core account looks like and what plan you're on. Let's take this one for example. We have an email here called 4th of July. Let's click on it and see what it looks like. There we go. You can see the template here. We have a logo at the top that you're going to want to change. You can also use custom values in any of this stuff. If I click on this little tag here, it's prompting me to load in a custom value. For example, if I go to account, logo URL, and if I copy this and paste it right here in the image URL, you're going to see there, I'm going to type in company logo. You don't see anything populate here, but if you have your logo uploaded to your CleanCore account in the settings company information section, it will actually pull in right here to your email, which is pretty cool. And in fact, yours may already be set up this way exactly. This is an older template here. This is an older account that we're using for demonstration purposes. Yours actually should be set up like this from the start. Again, we have photos here that we can change, add in alt text. We can even add a link to the photo. So if they click on it, it takes them outside of the email and opens up a new browser. And then we can craft the email itself. Have different sections, as you can see. We have buttons. You can even make sure that they are, you know, viewable on desktop and or mobile devices. So it really allows us to optimize this a bit further. You see, if I don't want this button to show up on mobile or desktop, I can exit out right here and it will only show up on the according on the respective device. To add new sections, we're going to go back and we can add text widgets, image, buttons, footers, social images, as like you can see here. We can add RSS feeds like from our blog posts. If we want to send out blog updates every time we release something new, we can just add this one right in here and it's going to automatically upload our new blog. If you recall from the previous videos, we went over how to build a website and how to set up a blog. So once you have that set up, you can use emails to push out a newsletter, letting people know that you just published a new blog, for example. Coming down, we can add more sections here. We can add a whole nother section with one column right here. We can adjust the color of it, the pattern. There's just a lot that we can do with this. I can change the layout pretty easily by adding in three columns right up here. 
And then I can have a button in each one of these. I could have something different in each one of these. Again, you're going to have to just get creative with this. Craft the emails around what it is you're trying to accomplish. This is just one example, but I hope you found this example useful. Before I end the video, I do want to talk about one more thing, two more things, actually. The three dots right here, you can send test emails, you can preview this, but I want to talk about the settings. Make sure you come in here and fill out this information. Who is it coming from? What email do you want it coming from? What's the preview text, if any? This isn't really required. And then the email subject. Make sure that you have a subject in here that's catchy, it's a nice hook, that makes them want to open the email. In fact, for all of these, you can use custom values. So right here, I might just put, you know, something like account, owner, first name. So if you are the account owner for your clean core account, your name is on your profile. It's going to pull in your first name here. You can do first name and last name if you wanted. The from email is set to location email. So that's whatever email is tied to your company settings. Or if you want something different, you could easily type in something custom like no reply at yourcompany.com, something like that, right? When you're done, click save. And then the last thing I want to show you is how to use this email template. So if we go back, I can do a couple things. I can send it one off or I can create a campaign right here. If I create an email campaign, all I have to do is give the campaign a name, choose a template, and then proceed to the next step. So if I wanted to do 4th of July push or whatever, and then I select this template right here. Now again, I can adjust this template real quick before I send it, but when I'm ready to send it, I can click send or schedule and I can send it now. I can schedule it. I can batch schedule and then I can adjust some of these other fields right over here and then click send. One really cool thing about this is the recipients field. So what we can do is we can choose the contacts that we want to send this email to or we can send it to everybody on a smart list. If you haven't already watched the video on smart lists, make sure you go ahead and watch that video because it shows you how to organize your contacts in what are known as smart lists, which update automatically based on the filters that you predefine. The great thing about that is if we want to blast an email to everybody in our smart list, we don't have to select them individually here. We just select this option right here and then select the smart list from the drop down menu. When you're ready, save it and send it. One more thing before we end the video, you can actually use these email templates that we just went over here. You can actually use these emails in your workflows. So real quick, you may not have seen the workflow video yet and that is totally fine. I'm just gonna click on a workflow real quick and we're going to add an email right here, just so I can show you that you can now select a template. There's a template that we were just working with. So if I select that, you'll notice that all of this information all of a sudden gets pre-filled and I don't have to sit here and type out an email. Even the subject was pre-filled here. So now when I click save, they are going to work their way through this workflow. And when it comes to this step, this email is going to go out and it's going to be our nice professionally crafted email that they're going to receive instead of just a plain text email. I'm actually going to delete that because this is not the workflow to add that to. I'm not going to save it either. There we go. I just wanted to show you that you can use these templates inside of your workflows held within the automation tab over here. So again, go to marketing, emails, templates. If you'd like to create professionally designed email templates, if you just need to create some text templates or regular plain text email templates, you can also do so here in the templates section of your clean core account. I hope you found this video helpful. Go out there and create some email templates and utilize them in your campaigns today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.